What's going on, Port fans? Welcome back to another video on my channel. Yes, it's taken a little bit of a break, but I am back with a brand new video today, and we are going to be starting a quest to discover who is the greatest Port Adelaide player of all time to this current moment. Uh, obviously, every single year you're gonna have new players come along and become better and better, and they might become the greatest down the track. But right now, 150 years we're celebrating, and even though a lot of things are trying to dampen what is supposed to be a special year, we're still going to celebrate it like it never happened. So, let's get straight into it. This is who you guys think is the greatest Port Adelaide player of all time. So I put a poll up on Instagram and um, I told you guys to put in a few names and see who you guys thought. And there's been some varying results. I'm actually surprised. So this one comes in from Mitch 15 and Scopper 7, both suggesting Justin Westhoff himself, the beard, now playing nearly, uh, well, just over 250 games now. The Hoff is, um, has become royalty to Port Adelaide, and uh, I think it's in the top five for the all-time goals kicked for Port as well, and you know what? It's a good shout. Hasn't won a premiership, uh, has won a best and fairest, so you never know. He might be up there. He's definitely in the conversation for AFL. SNFL, he might not be exactly in with those bracket of players, but nonetheless, good shout, boys. I like this one from Cardman22, good mate of the channel, and quite a few of you have sent in this name as well, but Travis Bike. Now, <laughs> what illuminates Travis and the Hoff and a couple of other players that have been playing recently is they don't have a premiership, and that's what's holding them back. But Travis Bike, all Australian, best and fairest winner. 250 plus games and a captain. He's definitely in the conversation for the best captain Port Adelaide Football Club's ever had. Don't know about the best that we've ever had play, but he's certainly right up there in the conversation. Definitely top 10, I'd say for sure. It's a good shout, card, man. This one comes from Jordy and Sam, and you know what? It's probably um, probably the right call, I'd say. Russell Ebert is definitely one of the best Port Adelaide players, best Port Adelaide people in the history of the football club. He's played over 350 plus games. He's, he's a legend of South Australian football. You know what? He's a legend of Australian football. Forget about the AFL, forget about all that. Football in general, this bloke is a legend. He's the god, as they say. And to have him as part of Port Adelaide, is definitely something we as a football community and Port Adelaide community should be proud of. I like this one from Daniel Mapley. He comes in with Kane Corns, 300 games, the record games holder for Port Adelaide as a 2004 Premiership player. He's uh, had a couple of All Australians, and um, you know what? It's a great shout because he is one of the best AFL players we've ever had. And some people will disagree, and some people just hate him for the fact that he comes out and mentions all these opinions and stuff like that. You know what? It's good to have a voice and good to have an opinion about something and let people know about it. Don't shy away from that. And Kane Corns does it and does it really well. So uh, definitely a good shout. I reckon he's in the conversation as one of the better players we've ever had. And a little bit more underrated, I reckon, from outside of South Australia as well, especially with the Corns family name. Um, it certainly throws up the, the, the question. <laughs> South Australian players in general are really underrated. Heffer23 says Bobby Carlisle. Bobby was, was a player that I reckon <laughs> was very contrib... Well, how can I put this? He became one of our better fullbacks we've ever had play for our football club towards the end of his career. I remember him breaking into the side when he was playing with Daryl Wakelin and fighting for those spots. Couldn't quite find uh, a rhythm. And then as he grew into the role and as he became the more of a senior player for Port Adelaide, he became a lot better. I wouldn't say he's in the best player category or the greatest player, but he certainly was um, a big part of the football community that is Port Adelaide. And still to this day, working hard as ever, um, you know, creating uh, an avenue for the Aboriginal uh, community to come in and learn their way and uh, the academy working with and the community that he does. And he does fantastic work. He also does fantastic work on TikTok. So um, something to be proud of for Bobby. 
Right, you must be thinking, well, Anthony, is this all you got? Is this all you're doing? No, 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 no. There's so many requests for the same player, it's ridiculous. I'm going to start throwing these names out now. They're just going to pop up on the screen because there's that many of them. And you'll see your names pop up this side and this side. First one, Gavin Wanganeen. Yeah, this is a great shout. First captain of the Port Adelaide Power. Was a great Magpies player back in the day. Multiple premierships. Won the 2004 premiership pretty much off his own boot as well with four goals. Got us into the granny by kicking the winning goal in a prelim. Two goals in the last quarter as well. Gavin Wanganeen is Port Adelaide's history. He's what makes this great club um, so enjoyable to support. He's always a part of the community, always involved with the fans, and now he's working on the board. He's just a great family man. He's a great Port Adelaide man, and what a player he was. The rubber man, they used to call him. And I, We know he was a Brownlow medalist at Essendon, but I still believe he was a better player at Port Adelaide, in my opinion, both with the Magpies and in the power side. Uh, multiple Australians. and <laughs> Gavin, the rubber man, was simply sensational. So it's a great shout to say he is our best player because I have no doubt a lot of people uh, that are in the Port Adelaide community and in the AFL community would be saying, I agree with that. A lot, of, a lot of people came with this name as well. Now, what is a criteria to make someone the greatest player of all time? Is it premierships? Is it um, all Australians? Is it best and fairest for the club? What is it that makes them the greatest of all time? Is it how they played compared to the numbers they'll have on a stats sheet? It's all up in the air. That's why we're going to go on a quest. And this bloke is definitely a part of the quest. And you'll see all these people name him Robbie Gray. 200 and I think nearly 250 games he would be playing uh, this year when we get back on track. Robbie has become such a dominant player, both how he plays for the Port Adelaide Football Club in the AFL, but also off the field. He's supportive of his teammates. He's also someone that's learning um, how to scout players and become a recruit. And he, that's the way he got Zach Butters to the club. It's the work he does for Port Adelaide in general, not on the field, not just on the field, but off the field that I think is really, uh, really cool and really what makes him in this conversation. Also the fact that he came back from a knee reconstruction, fought off cancer, won a showdown off his own boot, besides Motlop, and has just done countless acts of magician type work um, and he's won games single-handedly, and yeah, he's in the conversation, no doubt about that. I can't wait to discover more to see exactly why he is our greatest of all time. Which leaves me to the last player. Now, everyone has gotten to this point, if you're still watching, and thought, hang on a second, there's a captain we're missing, there's a bloke that kicked 549 goals, there's a bloke that played 255 games, he won a goal kicking numerous amount of times, I think you know who it is. Warren Gary Treadray. My favourite Port Adelaide player of all time. And as you know, Travis Spoke is my favourite at the moment and probably will be of all time when he does retire in a few years' time. But Warren Treadray encapsulated what is Port Adelaide. He made his own. He worked hard. Played in the Magpies. Won a premiership in 96. Comes to Port Adelaide. Uh, plays, gets drafted in 97. Wins a premiership in 04. Battles injuries. Works his ass off, never gave up, and he comes back, wins the goal kicking in 2009. 255 games in the Hall of Fame for both Port Adelaide and in the AFL. Warren Treadray is Port Adelaide, and I can't explain enough. The numbers will speak for itself, but Treaders was the most underrated center half forward to ever play this game, and that shouldn't be let go. There's many other names that we will be discussing throughout this little series I'm going to create of the greatest Port Adelaide player of all time. And we'll definitely dissect a more careers, not just the big name players as well, just to see exactly who is the greatest player of all time. So thank you very much for everyone sending in their requests. There'll be many more coming uh, across the next few weeks as we build back up to the season. I'm feeling a bit more motivated. I'm feeling like we need to dive into the history of Port Adelaide a bit more. Other content will still be coming. AFL Evolution 2 career mode. Probably on the back burner a bit. Um, and with the fixture being revised, I don't think any more fixture throwbacks will be happening. So we're going to reset a little bit. We're going to get some content out. And we're going to try and enjoy this time we have before footy gets back into gear. 
uh, which should be in the next couple of months. So leave a comment below who exactly you think is the greatest player of all time. We'll be dissecting that across the next few weeks. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and like the video if you liked uh, this content. Plenty more to come, so make sure you hit that button. My name is Anthony Portfans, and as always, can't appear.